Hello, I'm going to show you how to make a uh, glare effect in, effect in a Blender. Uh, as you can, this is actually pretty simple with a, a bit of compositing involved. I'll show you what I mean in a little bit. But as you can see, we can make this the glow effect and stuff in Blender, the, uh, the glare. So let's just start by uh, start by opening a new file in Blender. And we're going to delete the vault cube. And also go into camera view. Just so, that, just, so that you, just so that you can see what you're doing. We're going to add a UV sphere. And we're going to turn off those arrows things. They're kind of annoying to me. They seem to get in the way. So just grab it, center the image, and set smooth. Right there in the toolbar, which already comes up. And we're just going to uh, so this is going to be our our light. So we'll just scale down a little bit, so we don't want it to be too big, something like that. And we're going to have to uh, make it so that our our ball here is shadeless. So we're going to let up a little bit. We're going to go to the materials panel and add a new material. Well, so the default material. We're going to go down and uh, make it emit one. And intensity of the spec specularity intensity zero. And now it's a complete blob white. There you go. So now we're going to go to the two bar and then we're going to go to the note editor right there. And go to the compositor and use nodes. So these two things now pop up. And one of them is a render layer, and one of them is a compositor. So let's move them apart a little bit. Like that. So what we're gonna do? We have to make sure that we uh, render our picture first, because the compositor is gonna it's gonna edit one one image or at least one frame of it, but a whole the whole thing. But it, you only see one frame, so you have to make sure you render it first, so that you can see what you're doing. You'll see what I mean in a little bit. Okay, so there it is, the white blob, white circle. So we're going to now uh, add. Oh, we're gonna have to make the glare now. So we're gonna turn on backdrop, backdrop, and then that thing appears, the black thing. We're gonna add. Uh, viewer so that we can see what we're doing at the render layer and you, if you just connect the is, see, see these yellow dots um, the yellow dots are the, the, the these dots are just inputs and outputs anything on the left side of a, a node is the input and anything on the right side is a output so we're just going to hover over the yellow dot of this output Hold down the left mouse button and drag. And this black line appears. Now we're just going to connect it to the, uh, the viewer node by just going to it and then let go. There's this gradient thing right here, as you can see, it means it's connected. And then now that appears, the background. That's pretty cool. So that's the first composite thing, as you can see. So now what we have to do is we still have to get into the process itself of making the glare effect. So it's shifting things around here so we can make some room. We're going to add a filter and we're going to add a glare. Oops. Wrong one. We're going to add a glare down there. Alright, so as you can see there's a glare now and the glare has a whole bunch of options there. So we're just going to drag the output to the input of the glare and it connects. And then we're going to drag the input of the that one, the glare to the input of the compositor. So now they're connected. And we're just going to duplicate the viewer. Oops. Duplicate the viewer and bring it up here. And it's going to back and drop off so you can see what you're doing. I guess we're going to connect the glare to the, I mean the frontal layer to the glare. There we go, we're connecting now. And this, we're going to get the output of the 
player and connect it to the viewer. Now it's fire! Okay. So, we clicked on the viewer. It's going to be the same back there, but first we're going to change the threshold to zero of the glare. So we're just move a little bit. Pants. There it is. The glare. We've already got a glare. So first, now what we're going to do is we're going to change the streaks to five. This will basically create instead of just four streaks, we'll have five streaks. As you can see in a moment. There we go. We're going to change the. Uh, now we're going to change. Excuse me. The fade to 0.95. Just so that we get longer streaks. There you go. We're going to change the iterations to four. And we're just going to turn the uh, color modulation to nothing. And what it's going to do is it'll, it'll make it look better, you'll see. There you go. Okay, made it a little bit longer, and this made a fade more. Now. So that's the uh, glare now. So what I have to do oh, now is we're gonna have to we're gonna, now we're gonna create a blur, just so that we get this nice blur okay, around the circle and make it so the circle is not so sharp. And that's not actually very hard to do, as you can see in a little bit. We'll just move this over just to make some room. The glare and the compositor and viewer, just so we can put the blur behind the glare and the render layer. Now, chip the way, the bomb. Okay. So we're gonna add filter blur. Okay. Now we're gonna grab the blur and put it between the glare and the render layer right there. Connect the output of the render layer to the input of the image by turning back back backdrop off to see everything. Like that. And then Change the, uh, oh, oops, before we'll connect the glare and the blur. Of course. And, uh, we're going to change the, uh, type of blur to fast Gaussian. Okay. And we're going to, um, duplicate the viewer. So we can see what we're doing with the blur. Just connect it. Okay. Then we're going to make the X and Y values of the blur 40. 40 and 40. Alright, so if we look at the viewer, we need for it to composite. Oops. That one. Oh, I didn't connect it. Connect it. Stop. Oh, it's weird. Me connect it again. Make sure I don't move your mouth cursor too much. All right, so there we go. Anyway, there is the whatever glow, completely blurred object. We need to change that. So we're gonna have to. Uh, as you can see, if you look at the glare, it's all blurred. Bad. We're gonna have to add a mix node, which will basically fix everything, as you'll see. So, putting it over here. We're going to connect the blur to that the middle input of the mix, and then get the out the, out, the image output from the render layer to the bottom image input of the mix, and. Uh, Duplicate the viewers, you can see the mix as well. Connect it. And, uh, connect it. This is weird. Oops. Connect it to the image. Alright, so. Oh. Connect the, uh, mix to the glare. And connect that again. This is weird. Okay, so as you can see, 
is combine the render layer and the blur to one. But that's what the mix does. It combines two things. So if you look at the viewer of the layer, as you can see, it looks fine now. That's nice looking. Okay, one thing, one more thing we have to do now is uh, blur everything just a little bit so that the circle doesn't isn't completely sharp. To do this, we're going to duplicate the blur that we have over here. Put it between glare and the composite. Attach the connect connect the glare and the blur. Connect the blur and composite just like this. Simple and duplicate the view up here. Connect it to the blur. Okay. So now if you look at it. It's way too blurred. I mean, it, it blurred way too much. So we have to now decrease the blur by a nice amount. I'd say three. Three and three would be, would be a good amount. Right, there it is. The looks nice. Not sharp circle. Actually looks pretty good. So now, that's basically the glare done. And, uh... In order to make the glare actually brighter, it looks kind of dim right now. We're going to change the mix to type to add. And got brighter, like that. And then change the fact to 1. Ouch! Type in 1. Okay, get that composite. Alright, got a lot, lot brighter, it looks very nice. So what we're just going to get out of the node editor, because we're done with the glare now, into the 3D view. So now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to render this, so you can see what we've just done with our compositing. It's going to look just like what we saw, but we'll render it, so you can see it. Let it. To the composite the glare, there we go. Okay, the glare's there. It looks very nice. It looks like a sun almost to be made of yellow, I guess. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create more of these to illustrate the point that you don't have to create super node stuff to make different colored glows. So we're just gonna add another UV sphere. Grab it over here and scale it down. And then press T to bring over two bar, press smooth smooth, press T to get rid of the two bar again, and now we're just going to duplicate these and bring them, you know, all over the place, like that, okay, so that's, I'm going to do a few of these, I'm just going to select a few of them and change the color of them, doing the same thing I did before with the first one, change the uh, intensity to zero, specular intensity to zero, and the emit to one, like I said, and change the intensity. In a second, um, change the color to red, and then bring that intensity down. All right. So now, let's start let's try changing another one. Do it really quickly. I'll just make this you know, say green. Make this one blue. Very quickly. And then one and then your intensity to zero. Okay, so now if we render this, you'll see that you have those little color things, and the, you can actually see the, the the glare be applied to every single one of those globes because they're all in the same layer. But the ones that are colored will probably look the best since they have the emit high and also they're colored. And there you go. So there it is. Um, the glare is going to apply to everything, it looks very nice, and you can, uh, fool with coloring stuff, you know, I mean, so we're done. Uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, thank you for watching it, hope you learned something.